Let's discuss CAPWAP, Control and Provisioning of Wireless Access Points. CAPWAP is an IEEE standard protocol that enables a wireless LAN controller to manage multiple access points and wireless local area networks. CAPWAP is responsible for the encapsulation and the forwarding of wireless LAN client traffic between an access point and a wireless LAN controller. CAPWAP is going to establish tunnels on the UDP ports 5246 and 5247. This is with IPv4 and with IPv6. CAPWAP will also provide additional security with DTLS encryption, which is Datagram Transport Layer Security. A key component of CAPWAP is the concept of split media access control. With this, we're going to have the functions normally performed by an individual access point distributed across two functional components. The first functional component being the access point MAC function. That's going to be handling the beacons and probe responses, packet acknowledgements and retransmissions, frame queuing and packet prioritization, and MAC layer data encryption and decryption. The wireless LAN controller function is going to be authentication, association and reassociation of roaming clients, frame translation to other protocols, and the termination of 802.11 wireless traffic on a wired interface. Next is DTLS encryption, the Datagram Transport Layer Security Encryption. DTLS is a protocol that provides security between the access point and the wireless LAN controller. This allows them to communicate using encryption and it prevents eavesdropping or tampering from those man-in-the-middle attacks. Now, DTLS is enabled by default to secure the control channel for CAPWAP. This is disabled by default, however, for the data channel. What that means is all CAPWAP management and control traffic exchanged between the access point and the wireless LAN controller is encrypted and it's secured by default. However, data from the clients moving between an access point and the wireless LAN controller is not encrypted by default. CAPWAP data encryption is optional and it would be enabled per access point. It requires a DTLS license to be installed on the wireless LAN controller prior to being enabled on an access point. FlexConnect is a powerful wireless solution for branch offices and remote office deployments. This is going to allow you to configure and control access points in a branch office, which could be a remote office, controlling it from the corporate office through a WAN link, a wired area network. And you could do this without deploying a wireless LAN controller in the office with the access points. Now there's two modes of operation for the Flex Connect AP, which would be the access point in the branch office. The first one is connected mode. In a connected mode, the wireless LAN controller is reachable. That's reachable across the wide area network. And with this, there is CAPWAP connectivity where we can send traffic through the CAPWAP tunnel and the wireless LAN controller performs all the CAPWAP functions like we discussed earlier with split MAC. In standalone mode, the wireless LAN controller is unreachable. The Flex Connect access point has lost or failed to establish the CAPWAP tunnel with the wireless LAN controller. In this mode, that Flex Connect access point can assume some of the wireless LAN controller functions, such as switching client data traffic locally in the network and performing client authentication.